Hey everyone, welcome back. Dave Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. Today is a fantastic day. Uh, wake up for the first time in the city of Jerusalem. Go to the Wailing Wall, uh, the Wailing Wall underground, uh, and, and wind up at the churches or the chapel of condemnation and flagellation. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a breathtaking morning. Beautiful way to start day four. Come on and join us. We're going to have some fun and go see some wonderful, wonderful sights. Sunrise in Jerusalem, day number four. This is going to be a treat. I was getting a few prayers ready for the Wailing Wall since we're going there today. I have one for my sister, my brothers. I'll be putting another one for my other sister, my kids, and several for my YouTube family and Wood Badge family. All right, well, this is our hotel, Gloria Hotel. And here's something interesting. You know, at the Roman uh, area that we were at yesterday, the road was crowned and all the water went to the right and left. In Jerusalem, the water or the road is, I guess you'd call that concave and it's meant to go right down the middle. So the Romans had it actually underground where this just kind of goes down the middle of the road. Easy to twist your ankle on, too, I might add. And there is the Wailing Wall. Women on the right, men on the left. Here it is, the West Wall. Western tunnels. Oh my. During the second temple period, the second century BC up to the Roman destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, the area west of the Temple Mount connected the temple to the west side of Jerusalem. There were four gates located on this side, two gates at the lower level and two gates at the top of bridges. A paved street passes at the foot of the Temple Mount and additional structures and installations were located at that street level. The Western Wall of the Temple Mount is one of the most magnificent and significant remnants in Jerusalem from the days of the Second Temple, destroyed in 70 AD. The Western Wall stretches along almost half a kilometer, but today the part visible to all at the Western Wall Plaza is a mere 70 meters. The tour of the Western Wall Tunnels allows visitors to reach the segments of the wall hidden from view and to touch the original and special stones that tell the story of the Jewish nation. The tunnels were fully opened in 1996 with 500 meter long tunnel along the buried Northwestern Wall.
The route of the tunnel starts from the entrance on the north side of the western wall prayer area and ends in Via Della Rosa. The synagogue is deep inside the complex and is adjacent to the area above which the ancient Jewish temples on the Temple Mount stood and the inner sanctum of the Holy of Holies in particular. It was opened December 19th, 2017. This entire area would have been an open-air street at the foot of the wall at the time of the Second Temple. In that area was a Jewish ritual bath. <laughs> They've never found running water on the Temple Mount until now. And in the Bible, it does say that water will flow from the Temple Mount. They actually found some. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. They just opened up this area in the last year. This is an excellent portrayal of the magnificence of the Western Wall and the awesome architecture that it took to build it, including one of the largest stones ever found. Jumbo jet planes, 480 tons in weight. Every Friday afternoon, hundreds of Christians join in a procession through the old city of Jerusalem, stopping at 14 stations of the cross 
as they identify with the suffering of Jesus on his way to crucifixion. Their route is called the Via Della Rosa, translated Way of Sorrows. The Church of the Flagellation is a Roman Catholic church and Christian pilgrimage site located in the Muslim quarter of the old city of Jerusalem near St. Stephen's or Lion's Gate. It is part of the Franciscan Monastery of Flagellation, which also includes the Church of Condemnation and Imposition of the Cross. The church was originally built by the Crusaders in the 12th century and then was abandoned for many centuries. In 1838, it was acquired by the Franciscans and reopened for worship. In the stained glass windows of the Chapel of Flagellation show Pilate washing his hands, Jesus being scourged, and Barabbas expressing joy at his release. This church was built by the Franciscan monks in 1904 following the plan of the old Byzantine church. Markings in the paving stones indicating a dice game known as the King's Game suggested this is where Jesus was mocked by the soldiers. John. 19 verse 2 through 3. I told you it was gonna be a wonderful trip today. Um, <laughs> Jerusalem is just amazing. And the wonderful things that you see there, the history that's there, um, the Bible, it, it just all comes alive. And I really hope that you're appreciating this series like I am. It was uh, really great to have you come along and there'll be many more to come. I'll see you next time. Until then, you guys, be safe out there, and God bless.